hi everyone in uh, today's video i want to explain a very important part of uh, great circle selling a question that is often asked of me by my students because they don't understand this particular concept as to how great circle selling takes into account the curvature of the earth so we always say that the difference between great circle selling and plain selling is that plain selling uh, ignores the curvature of the earth assumes the earth is flat but the great circle selling does not and that is why plain sailing only holds true for distances up to let's say 600 nautical miles whereas great circle sailing uh, has no such restriction so what do we mean by great circle sailing takes into account the curvature of the earth now this is one question the second question students often ask me that let's say we have a question like this where a vessel is sailing from point a to point b and i start drawing the diagram as something like this so i will draw b here and a here and this is the way I draw the diagram. So let's say this is the North Pole. This is uh, B. This is A. Right. A is in the South Hemisphere and towards, of course, the end. So this is more from the perspective of the anti-meridian. And this is uh, B. So this is A where this is 32 degrees South and 125 degrees West. And we have B which is 65 degrees North and 175 degrees East. So students often ask me that why have you drawn this diagram? like this why have you drawn it like this and i say because uh, i mean why have you used an arc so i say you know because these are arcs of great circle but then they say why didn't you draw something like this or you know uh, straight like this right something like that so why can't we do something like that now of course these are drawings that depict uh, the, the numerical in question and uh, we don't know how the arc of the great circle will be drawn in real life or how will we adopt it but the reason we draw arcs of great circles and we can't just join a to b directly is because great circle takes into account the curvature of the earth that means it it you take advantage of the curvature of the earth and try to find the shortest distance between a to b because we all know that the earth is a circle and if you're sailing from point a to point b you cannot just go straight like that you take a curvature now if you still are not very clear about what this means i want to show you a video today of um, airplane and the route it takes from going from one position to the other so that that point can be uh, emphasized on how uh, planes are very similar to ships and they take into account the curvature of the earth and what you may think may be a straight course is actually uh, not a straight course it uh, has to go as per the curvature of the earth let's watch that video and that will help you to understand why we draw great circle diagrams like this and why can't we just join a to b directly or uh, through a straight line all right guys so let's watch this video that i was talking about the credit of this video doesn't go to me it's somebody else's video i just don't know whose video it is so uh, i'm just wanted to show you that here the flight is taking place from dubai and it is going towards uh, uh, us and it is a huge distance so if you look at the map you will think that dubai can be directly connected to um, a place in uh, the US however you can see how the plane is taking a very different route from what you will expect now sometimes of course certain uh, geopolitical reasons are there where you have to avoid a territory but at the end of the day what it is basically trying to show is that how the plane is also taking into account the curvature of the earth and this route is actually saving it time and also fuel and that is what the role of the seafarer is as well so this plane is actually passing through greenland taking into account the curvature of the earth uh, and using the best route possible to head towards its destination uh, which you think could be a direct course but it is not that is why the planes are flying uh, they don't fly in a straight line and that is the same reason why ships also can't sail directly in a straight line i hope that helps you convey the point better 